Emily. Okay, <clears throat> so today I am not going to be sucking any more helium. So I want to say something for my brother. Mm, this balloon is pretty fucked. Um, but today, even though today is my last day in school, I want to give, and my, it's coming up to your guys's, I want to give some tips for how to survive school. I just sort of did it at the end of the year so I can know everything that you really need to know. So yeah, um, if you want videos, or give us a thumbs up, and if you want videos like this or other ones that we do on the channel, make sure to subscribe, and um, if you want to see more videos like this or... Um, if you want us to do any certain type of video, just comment down below and I will do my best to try and do that. Okay, let's get on the video. Okay, first tip, ladies, when you're on your... <laughs> when you're on your time of the month and it happens in school and say you forgot to put something in your bag from last time that it happened, or if you just don't have your little, you know, thing that you hold your pads or tampons in. Usually your school nurse will have a pad and I know it must be really awkward to try and do that. But literally just go up to your nurse and be like, don't say, I just started my period, can I have a pad? Just say, can I please have a pad? They know what's going on if you just say, can I have a pad? You know? So don't try to make it awkward, they'll, use, they'll give you a pad. Like, when I started, my nurse, I've known her for a while and she, like, knows me, and I was, like, I was walking in there, I was, like, this is gonna be so awkward, even though I know her, and, like, we know each other, and stuff like that, and I was, like, so I'll just ask for a pad, and, you know, you know, it should, should be fine, um, and I asked, and it was still awkward, but it's not like she went up, and she started asking questions about it, you know, so you just need to be more confident on, in that. Second tip is worry about yourself, um, don't get in anybody else's drama, I know that's a little hard if you're in middle school or high school, um, I think it's a little more, it's harder if you're in middle school because people want to start drama then. Um, but focus on yourself, focus on your schoolwork. And, yeah, um, so, yeah, and more about people. I'm not going to have, like, a stop, go, stop, go, um, video. So, um, don't make true, true friends. And what I'm saying is, yeah, over the year you might have a best friend and stuff like that, like, over the years. That's fine, but if you just start making friends and friends and friends and friends, you don't know the ones that will turn around and, you know, be jerks to you behind your back. Even if you have been friends with somebody for, like, a long time, they can just change in an instant. Um, it takes, like, a day for somebody to become a bad person, but it takes a while for them to become a good person. Just gonna say that. So just sort of, like, you know... You don't really want to be like, eh, like, just sort of be nice to them, respect them, of course. But you don't, so don't really make super good friends. That's all I'm saying, because you need to focus on yourself. Um, if you like, what was I going to say? Oh, okay. Guys, like, talking about on the topic of the guys. If you like, like, guy. Tell them your feelings. Don't hide it inside. And I know that might, even if it's over a text or whatever, tell him your feelings because then he will understand you. And do you know, actually, if you tell a guy your feelings and he doesn't feel the same way about you, you can sort of get over him because, you know, you don't, he doesn't feel the same way about you. Um, this is something that I'm very close and personal with. Um, but if you... Um, tell him your feelings, he doesn't feel the same way about you. It's sort of open in the air. And if he starts ignoring you or being a jerk to you, you knew, now you know he's not a good guy to be interested in. Anyways, so it's pretty, you know, it sort of lets him speak the truth too. But, you know, in other manners. And with friends, tell them the truth too. Because you don't want to be hiding everything from your friend. Okay, just saying. It's not cool. Um, with teachers and academics... Always try your hardest in academics. Doesn't matter if you're staying up till 12 doing your homework. You at least got it done and you're going to get a good grade on it. And I know you guys may be like, oh, I need to sleep and stuff. I'd rather get a good grade on my homework and stay up all night than go to bed and get not even turn my homework in, you know? Um, and even if you don't have something finished but it needs to be turned in, turn it in anyways. A 
10% is better than a 100, um, that just makes any sense. A 10% is better than a 0%, just saying. Um, and with teachers, um, people say teacher's pets aren't really cool. But I, I suggest becoming a teacher's pet, because then that teacher trusts you, and, you know, they want to be, like, you know, and then over the years, you have a teacher to go back and be like, oh, I'm going to miss you when I graduate. <laughs> I have something on my phone. Sorry, I had, like, something on my phone. Um, like a dirt speck or whatever. Um, so yeah, I su I honestly suggest becoming a teacher's pet because I just think it's, um, uh, more helpful to you and stuff, and they'll trust you more. Or, if you don't want to become the teacher's pet and everybody being like, oh my gosh, she's the teacher's pet, blah, blah, blah. Just be quiet in class, because then the teacher's gonna like you. Just be quiet in class and don't yell out and raise your hand, like, raise your hand, don't yell out, and... Like, you know, be a good student. Do your work. That's really that's the most thing I have to say. Do your, do your work. Um, yeah. I also suggest, um, packing lunches because sometimes your school lunch could not be that very healthy. So, not very healthy, not that very, not very healthy. So, yeah. Okay, so that is it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want more videos like this, make sure to give it a thumbs up and comment saying that you want more videos like this. And make sure to subscribe to Making Madness and share our channel with your friends. And I'm pretty sure YouTube hasn't really updated it, and I'm pretty sure it's still Melody Madness. So if they ask, you know. Um, so I have summer now, so I'll be posting more also. Yeah. Oh, so that's practically it. I love you all. Have a great rest of your day slash summer. And see you all next time. Love you. Bye.